Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're actually here with a new tree, namely an Ilex crenata, which is a quite common variety for outdoor bonsai. I have found this little guy in a garden center and the plan for it today is to give it an initial prune, already look a bit closer at the structure of the tree. As it is now late summer already, we will not repot today, so we're gonna do that in early spring next season, but definitely giving you quite a nice look already on it. I think a good tree to work on today, simply giving it some shape already, maybe also wiring some of the side branches already and just talking a bit about Ilix Grenata in general and this tree in specific. So I would say let's start right away. So I would say let's start with just having a quick look on the tree. As I said, it's an Ilix Grenata. It is an evergreen tree, so also in winter it should keep those leaves. I found this one, it had some the yellowing leaves at the bottom but a lot of new growth so I decided to still take it. I think it is quite healthy nevertheless even though there is some dieback as you can still see here for example. But I mainly chose this tree because I really like the trunk line of the tree, especially the main trunk line here that moves up all the way to the outside here with a strong potential side branch on this side. This one here that we could leave on for now to simply strengthen the lower part of the trunk. But in general, a quite nice looking tree with a nice character already forming here in the trunk line. And that was why I decided to bring this one home with me. But I would say the first thing we're gonna do is actually this potential side branch here. I want to shorten this one here because it is way too tall in my opinion for now, especially for what we're planning to do with this tree, which is of course turning it into a bonsai in the future which leaves us with a, with a nice little side branch that is already branching off at various other points. I would also then, of course, decrease the height of all these branches coming off from it. Also one in here that we can take out just to clear out a little pad at this point. So just removing some of this growth. And here we can take it back a bit, opening up the entire tree here a bit. The same I would say we can do actually with this side branch here that I will probably not keep on in the future anyway. It is more of a sacrificial branch at the moment, so we keep it on to thicken the trunk. But later on, once we have the desired thickness of trunk, we will sacrifice it, so take it off at that point, because it will not be part of the final design of the tree. Then we can already move a bit upwards of the tree and we can see two main stems here. So we have the trunk line here that then breaks off into two branches. And I do believe I like this one here more. So we'll take out the back branch here actually. Trying to do it quite flush already. Simply again clearing out the entire tree here a bit. And we can see here we have a lot of potential side branches that also then come off from this spot here, which we can already also reduce a little bit. Also here in the back we have some here. This one is actually in the front, so we take out this one completely. Again, opening up the tree. And I would actually also shorten this leader here. Not quite sure yet how much I want to shorten it. If it will go up to this point where we have a good ramification going on, or we actually take it further down to this point here, which would fit better with the overall height of the rest of the tree. I think it is a young tree. It has a lot of new growth showing at the moment. I think we can take it definitely down to a more severe point, I would say. Also cutting back these new shoots here a little bit. Leaving us with a cheerful looking small tree here. And as I said, I would already start wiring a little bit. So for example, wiring out this branch here. It is already quite thick, so it will be more difficult already to wire this one. And here we have two side branches that I also want to wire actually. So just spreading them out a little bit, giving them already some movement and some position in which I want to take them in the future. 
you can see here in the sacrificial branch, you can actually take this one out because it will be in the way when it comes to wiring. So how do we wire this? I'm basically just preparing some wire, checking how much we will probably need, then just cutting the wire and then taking a closer look at it. So I want to adhere to the two branch principle, so we always wire two branches together, so basically the one fixes or fixates the other one, which makes the wire simply hold better and also gives it enough grip for the wire to stay on in the desired position that we want. So let me just gauge that again. I would simply go around this one once or twice to give it a first initial Stabilization here. With Elix Kronata you always have a lot of uh, little leaves coming off when you wire because they're so closely also to the stems that normally is not a problem. They do grow back quite easily then. And we move around here. So already here on this sacrificial branch we can bend this one out a little bit and then move up on this branch. So again, trying to be as close as possible here to the branch itself, of course, because we need this grip to really be able to bend down this entire branch here. Just opening up this tree a little bit. Then we might also shorten this branch here still a little bit. We can take off the leaf that is anyway yellowing. So you can see this could be a great future pad already now flaring out quite nicely. Again, as it is a bit too wide, we also stump the growth here a little bit by taking out this part of the branch. And we can move on to those two upper potential branches right here, which again, we're gonna wire out a little bit. So once again, let me check how much wire we're gonna need. I'm gonna cut that off. This one will be a bit more difficult to reach, actually, by the looks of it. So, I will simply try to once go around the main trunk. So, really to bring it once around the main trunk that we're actually not gonna wire, but simply to give us the grip. And then turn this around over to the other and wiring down. Just hooking it basically to a downwards position here, again adjusting the one underneath to give them both the space that they need. And where is my end of the wire? Here it is. Then of course do the same thing with this side branch here that's mainly green still, so it will be a bit more difficult to actually go in here. So I have to be a bit more gentle here to, to not rip off the entire branch here and simply then position it as well, which already fixates that one as well. So as you can see, we spread out the tree a lot, so we gave it a lot more width than it had before. I won't cut back the apex here at the moment because I see a lot of new shoots actually developing from up here, to give you an idea here. So I think it would be anyway a nice height here for a canopy or a bit higher even and have then the pads here develop a bit upward still. Here actually we have a nice side branch or even a back branch that hopefully will also continue to grow as nicely as it does right now and we might have another branch developing up here as you can see where we cut it back which could also be a nice pad in the future still. But for now I think I would keep it at that. We have spread it out quite nicely. Just a little bit of wire has come a long way on this tree, simply giving it an initial form way, way better than as it, as it was before. We basically took out two thirds of the tree, as you can see a lot of cutback that we have here. But for now, I would say already a good looking tree. So there you have it, just really a quick and easy work on a new tree. I always like to go to garden centers finding like little trees like that, which simply give you a great chance to practice your wiring skills, your pruning and simply your 
working on a tree, which is always nice to do. So if you have any questions about Elix Granata or this one in specific, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will get to answer them as soon as I see them. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like. And if you enjoyed this channel, of course, feel free to subscribe to it. Hopefully, we'll see you in the next video then. Until then, goodbye.